Halo teman-teman, gue Sindu Alpito dari medcom.id Hari ini gue dapat kesempatan yang sangat-sangat spesial Untuk mewawancarai salah satu di dengkot metal dunia Dia adalah Randy Blight, vokalis dari Lamb of God Jadi Lamb of God nih pada bulan ini akan menyelenggarakan dua konser online sekaligus Dan gue mendapat kesempatan untuk ngulik-ngulik lebih jauh Jadi bakal kayak gimana konsernya, seseru apa Simak wawancara gue ya sama Randy Blight okay, Thank you for your time And thank you for the opportunity. <laughs> my my name is Sindu from Medcom.id. The first the first of all, please give us a little hint about your online concert. Is there anything special or surprises for your fans? Well, I mean, the first thing about the the stream that people will see is that we're doing. something we've never done before, which is we've been rehearsing, doing two albums in their yeah. whole, you know, front to back. So yeah. as Lamb of God, we've never done that. We've always made a set list picking from different albums. Maybe when we when we only had one album, maybe we, we played most <laughs> of the songs on it. But even then, I don't think we've ever played an entire album front to back, you know. So, and with the new record, I know uh, when we were rehearsing, it, it was the first time a lot of us had ever played the songs all together because, you know, okay. we were writing the songs and, and demoing them and so forth, but, uh, but we had never actually played them together because we went, we were doing studio stuff. Sometimes yeah. we write in the studio. So in rehearsals, it was really nice to actually play the songs together. So that's really the, the kind of um, the really different thing about it, you know, for us okay. playing the whole record front to back. Okay. Like we, okay. like our first time in England, we played with Slayer and they did all of Rain and Blood front to back. And I was like, wow, that's really cool. They did the whole record. Yeah, it's great. We, we talked about doing it for a long time, but. Okay. Um, I think now it's the time. Okay. And why do you choose to perform songs from Essence of the Wake album? I think we chose, we talked about, uh, well, obviously when we wanted to do the whole new record first, okay. because that's our new record and we haven't gotten to tour on it, you know. Um, but I think we chose Ashes of the Wake really because that is the one that, um, That album came out in 2004 or five, I believe. I can't remember. 2004, okay. I think. Um, that album was, uh, that album kind of brought us into a larger audience, you know, okay. um, around the world. Around the world, we yeah. With, so. Yeah, we signed with Sony and uh, I think that record really connected with people a lot. So yeah. we just kind of chose that one. Yeah, it will be special for the fans, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, we want we that one is the one we looked at. Like, I think we even looked at Spotify numbers and, <laughs> and see which which had been streamed the most, and we chose that one. Okay, and are you going to capture this current situation? I mean, about the pandemic situation to your next music, maybe. You know, uh, that's uh, that's a really good question. And we're having to wait and see how everything plays out right now okay. with it. Um, how is it in Indonesia? How is the, is it, is there a lot of, a lot of coronavirus there? Yes, it's, it's, it's bad in here, you know, uh, in one day uh, we got uh, 3,000 more people infected and right yeah so much just, just a lot of people Indonesia on, on yes. which island? in, in cross of indonesia 3000 yeah. people yeah it's tough so i think um the the pandemic is obviously it's shaping the way society exists everyone you know because otherwise yeah. we'd be in indonesia playing a show right now you know on the <laughs> record so i think We're going to have to wait and see 
how it plays out. I would think there'd probably be a reference to it, at least one on our next okay. album. I mean, how could there not be? It's such an important thing. Um, but I think, you know, we're only really going to understand the impact of this pandemic uh, a, a little while down the line after we have a vaccine, after people have, we're able to return to normal life. I think that's when we're going to really be able to look at the situation and be like, oh, this was impacted by the pandemic. This was impacted by the pandemic. This was impacted by the <laughs> pandemic, you know, okay. and, and sort of understand it in a broader sense that way. It, we're going to have to have some time from it. So okay. probably, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I've thought about that. I really thought about that. Right now, I think it would be hard to write about the pandemic because we're in it still and we don't know what's going on with it. And you're writing a uh, lot of material, music material at home right now? Uh, am I writing? Yes. Uh, About the situation? I'm doing a lot of photography right now. Oh, yeah. Been, <laughs> I see this. I've been, I've been doing, um, I've been working on music uh, that isn't metal. So, you know, yeah. just some electronic stuff, more mellow type stuff. But, um, you know, it, it, We'll def I mean, if we don't get the to tour on this record, we might as well just go ahead and make another one soon. You know? <laughs> you know, so, we'll yeah, see. yeah, I see your photos. It's very cool. Uh, you love like um, straight photography and yeah, capture uh, New York City or something like that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of surfing stuff, which is why yeah. I'm back to Indonesia. I yeah, need to come back to Bali. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shout out, I need to hang out with my friend Rizal Tanjong. He's, oh. a, he's, he's a friend of mine in Bali, so shout out yeah. Rizal, I'll see you soon. Yeah, he's I amazing. Want to cruise around and, you know, surf Bali some and then go to some other places out in Java, some other different okay. places. Okay, last, um, really, last year, Chris Adler decided to leave the band and what do you think about the future of Lamb of God without him. Well, obviously, it's going just fine. <laughs> I mean, we <laughs> made a new record and everybody seemed to love it, you know? Yeah. So, you know, it's, we're doing just fine. The record's doing really well. So, it's any different from the before album? Um, Sure, there's a difference, but I mean, anytime you have a different member coming to a band, okay, um, it's a different situation, different personalities, different different talents. You know, Chris yeah. is really talented in his way. Art is really talented in his way. So, I mean, we're doing just fine. It's it's different, but it's just as good, in my opinion. So, okay, okay, thank you, really. And um, how do you cope this? Pandemic situation. I know you are um, a Zen practic practitioner, and what do you uh, what 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 are you doing at home with Zen things or you know yoga I, maybe? Yeah, you know I need to do yoga more. Um, yeah, because I'm old and I hurt. Um, <laughs> but it, yeah, meditation is good when I when I do it. I've been lazy with it lately, but. Mostly what I've been doing lately is going surfing a lot because okay. that's like, that's like meditating. Um, you know, there's really no coronavirus in the, in the ocean and I'm not <laughs> near anyone. So, uh, I just came back from surfing yesterday, um, oh. okay. it, it, down in North Carolina. So okay. that really, it keeps my body healthy, keeps my mind healthy. Yeah. But other than that, I've been reading a lot and, um, you know, doing, trying to stay creative, work on photography. Um, just, I don't know, you know, um, it, it's just a different sort of, it's a different sort of existence um, because I wish I was on tour, you know, okay. <laughs> it's, really, it's really frustrating um, to not be able to tour on our new record, but, okay. but it, I can't, if sitting here and complaining about that doesn't do any good, so I might okay. as well use this time the best that I can. And so lately the waves have been really good, so time to surf. 
<laughs> okay, okay, Randy. Um, you came to Indonesia for several times, and what is the most thing you remember about Indonesia? Uh, me goreng the noodles. <laughs> oh, you, you know me goreng. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I love that after serving. I, I mean, I you know. The last time we were in Indo, I think me and Willie and John stayed and, and uh, uh, we played in Jakarta and, okay. and, me and Willie and John went to uh, to Bali and we okay. hung out with my friend Rizal. Okay, Rizal. He, he, he took us surfing and um, and Willie and John had never surfed before. So okay. Rizal was teaching them to surf, which is really cool because that's like having Michael Jordan teach you how to shoot a basketball. Wow. So he's teaching them to surf, and then Willie ran me over. He ran over me on his surfboard. It was really funny. So okay. Um, no, man. I, you know, I like the food a lot, and I like okay. a warm climate. What food? And I and I like I like surfing a lot. So okay. <laughs> what food. Indonesian food that you like? Uh, maybe have you try rendang or yeah, sure. nasi goreng? Yeah, I, I love I love May Goring the best though the noodles. I forget what they call them. Like on the beaches, there's like little shacks. Oh. You know, you okay. go up to them after you surf, and you're like giving. And most of it's instant noodles. You know, oh. but they, they make it right there, and and uh, okay, really good after surfing food. Oh, I see. Okay, thank you. We, went to, we we also went to when we were in Bali. We went to Ubud. Oh, okay, um, which nice place. And, I took some pictures of a monkey sitting on Willie's head. Oh, so, <laughs> in monkey forest in Ubud, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. So and I, there was a monkey sitting on Willie's head. I got a picture. Of it. <laughs> I think it's his Instagram picture. If you look at Willie's oh, Instagram, okay. there's a picture of him with a monkey on his head. I think I, I think that's one. I took that photo. Okay. Everything you you came to. Uh, uh, to the Indonesia or to uh, for tour, you always bring your Leica or yeah, <laughs> yeah. or yeah, that's what or, I, I want. I want to really. That's a thing. I really like photographing in Asia, okay, uh, all over Asia because it's uh, it's a different culture. Yes, than ours, of course. You know? um, like I I photograph wherever I am, and but Europe is kind of so like close in culture to here in a way um asia has just a different feel and i i love going and seeing new cultures and trying different foods and you know shooting the shooting port photographs of the people there that's what i re i really enjoy okay <laughs> i think the most about my job is going and learning about different cultures and and you know meeting different people it's it's um, okay it, I feel very lucky to be able to do that. And I always love having my Leica with me, you know. It's my favorite okay. my favorite thing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you have any plan to set the exhibition again? A photograph yeah, exhibition? Actually, yeah, a pho a photograph exhibition? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, um, like you do like you did before. Yeah. I've I've had three so far and actually yeah. I have one, um, a group show with a bunch of younger oh, okay. photographers in October it, here in Virginia. Um, me and a couple other photographers are helping out, so helping out some younger photographers. Um, mm -hmm. It'll be a lot of their first, uh, their first exhibition. So we're helping them set up for that. And I'll have two or three photos in that. Well, so it'll be a group exhibition, but okay. um, it, it's going to be fun to kind of, to help the younger photographers out, teach them yeah. about printing and framing and all that stuff. I also love street photography and I'm doing in Jakarta. It's so many good objects here. Oh yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, city. yeah, yeah it's crazy. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Sindhu, can I jump in? Hello, Randy. Hello. Okay. Hi, Randy. I'm Widya. I'm also from Metro TV and Medcom. I'm sorry, I cannot put my video because my battery is slow. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. one, 
one thing that I, I want to know is uh, how you react to people that refuse to use a mask everywhere they go, but the government actually uh, suggests the people to wear a mask to, you know, um, avoid the coronavirus. How do you react well, to it? Well, I'll tell you what, how do I react to it? I react by not bearing, being anywhere near those people, you know? <laughs> I wear... I wear a mask um, because for me, it's, it's not about me not getting the coronavirus, right? It's about me not spreading the coronavirus mm. for wearing a mask. I mean, I have a, pretty, I have a couple of pretty good masks, um, but, it, you know, I'm relatively healthy. I'm in good shape. I'm a young guy. Um, and I think if I got the coronavirus, I'd probably survive it. However, I have many friends who are older than me, um, and uh, I have, you know, family that's older than me, and plus mm. just strangers. Everybody has a grandmother or grandfather or whatever. It, I, those people aren't as healthy as me. They don't have a strong immune system naturally because of a, uh, age. Mm -hmm. um, and also just some people, like I have some friends who have had cancer. They've had, had chemotherapy treatments. Their immune mm. system is compromised. So it's not, it's not a problem for me to wear a mask, mm. right? It's yes. just not. It's just not a problem. And these people that complain, I can't breathe with a mask on, blah, 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 blah. It's just like, <laughs> shut up. You're selfish, you know? I'm friends with the guys in Slipknot, right? They run around on stage for <laughs> two hours with fire going off and wearing these masks and these costumes, and they can still breathe. You know? <laughs> That's you exactly. The, you can go to the grocery store for 20 minutes in a paper mask, you know? So it's ridiculous. How do I deal with it? I avoid them. When I, the people I hang out with and have hung out with during this, because I'm not hanging out with all my friends, you know, yes. like, like we normally do. That's just, it sucks, right? Of course, yes. I miss everyone. I want to hug everyone. I'm a big time. I love to hug my friends. I want to do all that stuff. But right now is not the time. It's just yes. not the time. So the people, my friends that I hang out with, all take this very seriously. You know, and, um, you know, I've had friends that have had the coronavirus and yes. they've, they've told me it's not a joke, <laughs> you know, yeah. and besides uh, not a joke and please not being selfish. I really like your statement. Yeah, man. Stop being so freaking selfish. It's ridiculous. You know, it's not, and it's not taking away your rights. To, to wear a mask you know come on it's it's about helping other people so if, if these people people that refuse to wear a mask or whatever i'm not friends with any of them i'm not, <laughs> not going to argue with them i'm not going to hang out with them and try and change their mind i'm not going to have to deal with them i'm just not going to hang out with them Okay, well <laughs> noted. Well noted, and thank you so much. Oh, one uh, important question: Are you a dog person or a cat person? Uh, both. Both. You're you're a you have pets in your house now. A cat named Salad. Sa Why you call it Salad? I didn't give it the cat. I didn't give the cat its name. My friend, I got it from. <laughs> what what color, Randy? Black and white. Oh, black and what, like Oreo. Okay, okay. Yeah. So let me ask you this while you're still on here. Is there any island in particular? Well, I'm assuming, what island is Jakarta on again? Java. In Java. It's on Java. Yeah, it's, is yeah. that where the most cases of coronavirus is? Yes. True. True. Yeah, has, that, has, that has the biggest population, right, Java? Yeah. So True. Yes. But it's, is it spread throughout a lot of the other islands? Uh, yes. Yes. To yes, uh, Borneo Island. Yeah, true. Um, Borneo. Bali, Bali. Yeah. How are people there with wearing masks? Yeah. Well, you know that's that's the reason actually I asked you because a lot of people here are stubborn and they <laughs> they don't take it seriously. They just you know like oh really coronavirus is that really uh, exists? Especially there's uh, one one particular person who actually is a musician as well. Yeah, Sindu. 
yes, yes. Uh, he's he's like a influencer here and he started spreading all those uh, fake news about the coronavirus uh, he tried to to influence some people he tried to influence some followers to not wearing a mask and not trusting about coronavirus well at least it's just the singer not your president like we have in america <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. And shout out to Jukawi, you know, President okay. of, uh, Jukawi. That, that's how you say his name, right? Jukawi, right? Jukawi, yeah. He has Jokowi. nothing to say to him. He's a, he, well, he's a Lamb of God fan. Tell yes. Him yeah. Yes. <laughs> Tell him he needs to invite me. He needs to take me. I, I need a diplomatic surf visa so he can, like, I can just come to Indonesia whenever to surf. So let Jukawi <laughs> know that. Tell him I'll, I'll come and sing a song for him if he'll get me a special surf visa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should you should visit uh, Komodo Island. You should visit Banyuwangi. You should visit uh, Sumba. A lot of uh, beautiful beaches with, you know, they, they're Walmart, famous yeah. for surfers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I just so want I keep. I just mm -hmm. want to come and surf Uluwatu. Ah, oh. Uluwatu. Uluwatu. Yes, it's yes. pretty as well. Yeah, yeah. I keep my fingers in cross so coronavirus will disappear from this <laughs> earth. We'll get a vaccine sooner or later. I mean, yeah. I'm into that. Thank okay. you, Randy, once again. Thank you. Thank you, you guys. Have Thank a you, Randy. Day. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye.